All right, I'm going to show you how to do a bubble sort in Java. It's a very common exercise uh, when you're learning Java. You'll more than likely have to do a bubble sort sooner or later. Not used very often in real life because they're not very efficient. We can talk about that in another video. Uh, there's some efficiencies you can make, but uh, it, it is a e pretty easy algorithm. So the idea with a bubble sort is that you have an array, usually, of elements not in any particular order and you want to put them in a particular order so to start us off i've got an array here of some integers in random order i also have a function that'll print them out in their current order so you can kind of see what's going on here and when i run this just to show you uh, my print array function here just prints the original array because i haven't done anything with it so in the bubble sort algorithm the idea is you want to iterate through the array comparing items and you find the if you're sorting in ascending order smallest to largest uh, you want to find the biggest item and let it bubble to the top or to the end of the array and to do that we need a for loop we're working with an array so for loops are best because you know how many times you're going to loop so let's just do a pretty standard normal for loop and we're going to run this for loop the size of the array. And actually, I'm going to go minus one, and I'll tell you why in just a second. All right, so now we got a loop that's going to loop for however many elements are in the array. So what we want to do now is compare two elements in the array each time and see if they're in the right order. So we're going to look and see if array of i is greater than array of i plus 1. And that's why I did the length minus 1 right here, because we are going to go i plus 1. And if we are at length, or, or yeah, if we're at the last element and we plus 1, we'll go beyond the... Uh, end of the array and we'll get an exception so we want to actually only do it we only want to loop one less time than the size so if the array of i let's say we're at zero i is zero on the first pass and that element zero is greater than zero plus one one then they're out of order this lower element is greater than the next element so we want to swap if when that's the case So oh, swapping in Java is easy. Just need a store temporarily store one value. All right, so now we're going to go through the array and check two items at a time. And as we do this, the largest value is going to eventually make it to the end of the array. So for fun, I am going to print it out also in here so you can see it do the bubble. Now when I run this, As you can see, um, as it went through the first couple times, it didn't change anything until uh, it compared uh, 562 and 74. And on the next pass, it saw that 562 was bigger than 74, so it swapped them. So now 562 and 74 are swapped and then on the next pass same thing happened where uh, 562 and 3 were compared and because 562 was bigger it swapped those and in the end 562 ended up at the end of the array which is the largest element of the array
So that's the first pass. Now, the, I, with the bubble sort, to get this to work, you just have to repeat what you just did here, uh, the n size of the array again, and eventually all of the elements get ordered. So let's do that. Let's just stick this in another for loop. So I'm putting everything that that whole inner for loop inside another for loop. I'm not going to use that J variable. I'm just using the this outer for loop to repeat the inner for loop. And now when I run this, I'm going to run a bunch more times, but in the end, as you can see here, now the array is completely ordered. And if we scroll down through this, you can kind of see how that, that bubbling works. So, you know, that, that first pass we talked about where 562 ended up at the at the end of the array. Um, and then as we scroll down through here, you can see 412 was the next value that kind of bubbled up, but it didn't bubble all the way to the end. Uh, but it bubbled up to where it belonged. Uh, same with 74, it bubbled up, and then the 5, and then the 3 was left. So that's, that's a bubble sort. I'll do another video on showing how to make this a lot more efficient and some other cooler things you can do with this but this is the basic bubble sort algorithm for java